AMOLED is very bright display, provide crispy colors, if you want, an AMOLED 5G phone, under 15,000 rupees, then watch this video, till end, I hope it will help you a lot. At number 1, Nartso 70 Pro, this is the Nartso 70 5G, or you can say, the copy of Nartso 70 Pro in term of design and display. Phone has 6.67 inches, a moly disp including 120Hz refresh rate with magic ring design. Also support Rainwater Smart Touch, which enable you to use with wet hand without any resistant. FHD resolution in 396 ppi is providing outstanding view. Very quick in display fingerprint sensor for security needs. Good thing is to have dual stereo speaker system. 7.79mm slim design with 188 gram weight. Phone comes with Dimensity 7050 chipset, which is not very powerful gaming chipset. But you can play some games on medium graphic setting. And to the score is round about 6 lakh, which is good. Just like P1, Nartso 70 has 50 megapixel main camera, along with 2 megapixel depth sensor. Camera quality is good. Photos comes out in good colors and detail. Camera works good, even low light or night mode. You can record max 4K video at 30 FPS. 4K video doesn't look stable because you can't enable EIS in 4K video. Phone has 16 megapixel selfie shooter. Runs Realme UI 5.0 based on Android 14, and packed with 6 and 8 GB of RAM. You will get 2 years OS and 3 years security updates. Powered by 5000 mAh battery, with 45 watt charger. At number 2, CMF Phone 1. Introducing CMF Phone 1, by nothing. On the front, it is pretty good, 6.67 inches AMOLED panel, with 120Hz refresh rate. Multimedia experience on this to be lacking, because there is no HDR for Netflix and studio speaker in this budget range. Apart from that, in-display fingerprint scanner works well. I did not face any visibility issue, even in sunlight, as it get 2000 nits peak brightness. Phone has IP52 rating to protect from dust and splashes, but there is no rain touch-like feature, so you can't use with wet hand. Phone is 8.2 millimeters thick and 197 gram weight. Phone comes with, for different cases, and other necessary tools. For customization, it takes customization to hardware level. You can easily change your phone cases and you can even attach different accessories, like a phone stand, wallet and lanyard cable also. So you can put money or pics in your wallet. On bottom phone has SIM tray, USB Type-C, and speaker grill. Moving to the right, it has power button and volume rocker on its left. On top side, phone has noise-canceling microphone. The CMF Phone 1 is powered by Dimensity 7300 chip. Dimensity 7300 is not an upgrade over Dimensity 7200. It's in fact, rebranded 7050 chip with slightly upgrade in Pew. In terms of gaming, the phone is stuck at 60 FPS in both BGMI and Call of Duty. But the gameplay was pretty smooth in Genshin Impact with the average frame rate of 30 fps. The benchmark score is slightly higher than Poco X6, Ico Z9, and CE4 Lite. Smartphone has 50 megapixel Sony IMX882 sensor along with 16 megapixel depth sensor. The photos come out with this camera is really nice. The camera of this phone has surprised me in a good way. Colors look natural and there is no over sharpness. Camera works good, even low light or night mode. You can record max 4K video at 30 fps. The video quality looks decent. On front, phone has 16 megapixel selfie shooter. It runs Android 14 and packed with 6 and 8 gigabyte of RAM with 128 gigabyte of storage. CMF phone will get 2 years software and 3 years of security updates as well. Powered by 5000 mAh battery with 33 watt fast charger. At number 3, Realme P1. The Realme P1 has emerged as a significant addition to the competitive smartphone landscape. Reflecting the brand's commitment to innovation and affordability. Phone has 6.67 inches AMOLED display. Offering 120 Hz fast refresh rate with rainwater touch technology, so you can use with wet hands without any problem. This is FHD display and the viewing angles are good. Unfortunately, you can't get HDR support, but good thing is to have dual stereo speaker system. P1 support, 1200 nits of peak brightness. 
which is higher than P1 Pro. Support in Display Fingerprint Sensor Very beautiful Phoenix design, with 188 gram weight and IP54 water rating. Phone has Dimensity 7050 chipset, which is not very powerful gaming chipset, but you can play some games on medium graphic setting, and to the score is round about 6 lakh, which is good. P1 comes with 50 megapixel main camera, along with 2 megapixel depth sensor. Camera quality is good. Photos comes out in good colors and detail. The camera technology in the Realme P1 deserves special mention because it enable a user to capture stunning images. Camera works good, even low light or night mode. You can record max 4K video at 30 FPS. 4K video doesn't look stable because you can't enable EIS in 4K video. To enable EIS, you should be moved to FHD video recording. On front, phone has 16 megapixel selfie shooter. Runs Realme UI 5.0, based on Android 14, and packed with 6 and 8 GB of RAM, you will get 2 years OS and 3 year security updates. Powered by 5000 mAh battery with 45 watt charger. At number 4, Poco X6 Neo, Poco's new budget king is here. Phone has 6.67 inches AMOLED display, offering 120 Hz fast and smooth high refresh rate. 1 billion color display and full HD plus resolution screen with 395 pixel density. The chin is very low, with 89% body ratio, also has Gorilla Glass 5 protection and 1000 nits of peak brightness. Because of this, display is very bright and can be used easily in outdoor condition. Phone is fairly slim and light in term of thickness and weight, only 7.7mm thick frame made of plastic. Also has side fingerprint and IP54 water rating, to protect from dust and splashes. Anyway performance-wise, this phone will keep its own, surprisingly with the kind of chip. The gaming is quite smooth and Antutu score is 4 lakh plus. Phone has 108 megapixel main camera with 2 megapixel macro lens. Daylight images are of good quality. Colors looks natural, sometimes lot of exposure added on image to make it light. These are some samples of X6 Neo. You can record max FHD video at 30 FPS. Video looks good not best. On front, phone has 16 megapixel selfie camera. It runs MIUI 14 based on Android 13 and packed with 8 and 12 gigabyte of RAM with 128 and 256 gigabyte of storage. X6 Neo is powered by 5000 mAh battery with 33 watt fast charger. At number 5, Lava Blaze X. This is Lava Blaze X 5G phone, a new, strongly budget king by Lava. Smartphone has 6.67 inches AMOLED 3D curved display. With 89.5% screen to body ratio and aspect ratio is 20 by 9. 120 Hz refresh rate and 240 Hz touch sampling rate looks nice. Very high quality display offers FHD plus resolution in 396 pixel density. Display support, 800 nits peak brightness, which is not much high, but enough to use under sunlight condition. Phone comes with in-display fingerprint sensor and IP53 rating. Very premium, moonstone matte design. Phone comes in two colors, starlight purple and titanium gray. This one is the lightest phone by Lava. Weight is 183 gram and 8.5 millimeters thick frame, which looks nice. Apart from that, phone has SIM tray, microphone, USB type C and speaker grill on bottom. On right side, phone has volume rocker and power button. On top side, phone has microphone. Phone comes with Dimensity 6300 chipset. This is not high performance chipset. Its benchmark score is approximately equal to Snapdragon 695 processor, which is 4 lakh plus. You can play Call of Duty at medium graphics and high rain rate. Gaming is really smooth. As you can see, there is no lagging and gameplay is really smooth and freely. You can consider this for gaming purpose. Phone has 64 megapixel main camera, along with 2 megapixel depth sensor. Lava claims 64 megapixel is Sony sensor. Camera quality is good. Very punchy colors come out. If you want to upload on any social media platform, then this is good for you. Macro camera also get good details. You can record max 2K video at 30 FPS. 
VideoS lack of stability. On front, phone has 16 megapixel selfie shooter. It runs Android 14 and packed with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. Phone will get 1 year OS and 2 year security update, powered by 5000 mAh battery with 33 watt fast charger.